equipment I have for today. I obviously have some bin bags. Uh, these ones are biodegradable to try and at least be a bit helpful for the environment even if we are putting it in a bag. A um, pair of gloves, very good for protecting your hands and a litter picker. Um, it helps your back and keeps things a bit more hygienic. Um, try not to share these around with COVID, uh, so keep your own personal set. You could also take some of these big truck buckets uh, to put litter in those instead or for bigger items uh, and it's always worth having a little sharps tub. Uh, so I use like an old Cadbury's, Cadbury's chocolate tin to put bits of glass in because they just rip holes in your plastic bags. So it's worth taking one of those with you too. This is the survey forms that we're going to use from the Marine Conservation Society. It's grouped by types, we've got plastics, rubber, cloth, paper card and so on. Uh, so say it was a piece of plastic. Uh, a small piece, so we've got small, we'll say it's a polystyrene piece, plastic polystyrene piece. You could put it in that one or that one depending on what size. Um, if you're not sure on what size it is, you can measure it. We've got a handy ruler at the bottom here, so I would just place it on and we'll say that my imaginary piece is in this category. So I would put a tally in that box there. And then once you've finished doing your beach clean, you put count up all your tallies and put the total in this column. Um, so don't put the tallies in that one to start with, it's a common mistake. Um, the Marine Conservation Society also make a handy beach ID guide for the types of litter that you might get confused with. So that's well worth having. Uh, and as you can see, it's raining slightly. So that's quite common in this country. Um, so I've got everything in a nice waterproof folder that I can keep it dry in between uses. So it might be worth putting together one of those. Uh, any old folder will do the job.